We are in a neighborhood where the houses are big, the streets are quiet, the drama is even quieter, and the minivans are everywhere. Yes, we are in Thornhill today. Seriously, if you're not driving a minivan, are you even a Thornhill resident? And even though I'm making this joke on my trip to Thornhill to make the B-roll for this video, I did not see one minivan. Are you thinking about calling Thornhill your home? Then come along this journey with me where I will show you what the neighborhood looks like, the amenities, the school, the real estate, and the whole shebang. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Faiza and I am a local real estate agent right here in Markham. I post a video every week showcasing different neighborhoods, talking anything and everything you need to know about living in Markham and the current real estate market in this area. If you find any value in this video, all I ask is you hit that like button. That helps this video get seen by more and more people like you. Also, if you find that I missed something that is a big part of this neighborhood, do tell us in the comments below. I bet we can all appreciate some insider information. So what's up with these minivans, huh? Let's talk about Thornhill. Thornhill is located at the northern border of Toronto. It is the only neighborhood that is split between two cities, Vaughan and Markham. West of Young is Vaughan and East of Young is Markham. With a population of around 112,000 people, Thornhill is an ideal community for families and people who seek a more relaxed environment. It has been regarded as a desirable destination for those seeking close proximity to downtown while enjoying the amenities of uptown living. Thornhill is in the southwest corner of Markham, bordered by Young Street on the west, Bayview Avenue on the east, the railway line north of Doncaster Avenue to the south, and the East Dawn River to the north. The area to the north is parkland and trails, and the neighborhood itself features plenty of parkland, natural areas, and woodlands, as well as part of a golf course and the historic Thornhill Cemetery. Thornhill has quite a history behind it. It is designated as a heritage conservation district. Thornhill's location along Young Street was a major reason for its growth as it provided access to the city of Toronto to the south. This access was accelerated with the arrival of Electric Street Railway along Young Street in 1898 and further enhanced in 1920 with the arrival of the cars. There is one public school in this neighborhood, E.J. Sand Public School, which is an elementary school, and St. Michael's School, which is an elementary Catholic school. There is also a secondary school in this neighborhood called Thornhill Secondary School. What are some of the things to do in Thornhill? Thornhill has a community center. This center, located on Bayview Avenue and John Street, has a dedicated youth space, twin ice rings with a heated viewing platform in the ice ring seating area that is accessible to people using mobility devices. It has a therapy pool, two squash courts, and cycle studio. Thornhill Community Center also contains a gym, a health center, health and fitness center, dance and wellness studio, and it has the city's largest hall for rent, which can hold up to 500 people. The community center also has a library. Some other things to do in the Thornhill area it has a lot to do with the history of the neighborhood. So for example, Thornhill Village Library. It reflects the history of the Markham's community. The building was built as a residence in 1851 for Mrs. Ellen Ramston, the daughter of the settler, Captain Richard Sutton Frizzell. The Thornhill Village Library also demonstrates the development of Thornhill's community and its expensive growth in the 1960s. The building became a library in 1960. However, when the village began to grow rapidly, the library quickly became too small. That's when the new Thornhill Community Center Library was built to alleviate some of the pressure. The other thing to do in this neighborhood is Pomona Mills Park. Even though there are few parks in this neighborhood, this particular park is the most famous. It is a 3.4 kilometer loop trail, a fairly easy route. It takes an average of about 45, 41 minutes to complete. This is a popular trail for birding, running, and walking, but you can still enjoy some solitude during quieter times of the day. The trail is open year-round and is beautiful to visit anytime. And then there is Cham Shan Temple. It is the oldest Chinese Buddhist temple and also one of the largest Buddhist association with hundreds of visitors from all over the place coming to join in this service. It is a beautiful place to visit where you will leave with a lighter heart and a smile on your face. 
Other than that, this neighborhood is very central. It borders Toronto to the south and Vaughan to the west. You could be in downtown Toronto in about half an hour and enjoy the many activities that the city of Toronto offers. And if you're ever in need for a little adventure, just take a stroll over to the other side of Thornhill in Vaughan and see what they're up to. Who knows, maybe they have a different color of minivan. Now let's talk about some real estate. Housing in this predominantly residential area is mixed with mostly single detached homes in varying sizes and styles and including some mansion-like homes, as well as high-rise and low-rise multi-unit buildings and townhouse complexes. A commercial area lies near the Young Street and Glen Cameron Road intersection. Some current listings in this area looks like this. Four bedroom, four bathroom, semi-detached house listed for $1,200,000. Four bedroom, five bathroom, detached house listed for $1,999,800. And then there is a 4,700 square foot home, five bedroom, seven bath listed for $4,590,000. You can also find quite a few condos in this neighborhood. One bedroom, one bathroom condo listed at $610,000. One bed plus den and one bathroom listed for $658,000. Two bed, two bath listed for $748,000. Four bed, four bath condo townhouse listed for $899,900. So a variety of housing options are available in this area. If you're interested in calling Thornhill your home, then click on the first link in the description below to book a call with me on Calendly. Hope you enjoyed this tour of Thornhill. If you found any value out of this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Until next time, I will see you around town.